Today's video is going to be a quick guide on pickpocketing Vyres in Darkmire. The requirements for this method is Sins of Your Father, The Quest, and 82 Thieving. It's recommended that you have the Arty Hard Diaries done, Dodgy Necklaces, Gem Bag, and the ability to cast Shadow Veil. It's also recommended to have the Rogue's Outfit. For your inventory, I recommend Dodgy Necklaces and the Gem Bag. They are just recommended, but I will be having them in my inventory and then food as well. You can bring Sarah Bruce, but be careful on that if you're casting Shadow Veil because that lowers your magic level. So if you're casting Shadow Veil, you'll have to have something to bring your magic level back up. At level 82, there's a 41.8% chance to successfully pickpocket Vyres or with the Arty Hards, a 45.7% chance. At level 99, you have a 50.3% chance or with the Arty Hards, 55% chance. It's estimated that each pickpocket is worth 314 GP without Rogue's Outfit or 629 GP with the Rogue's Outfit. Or if you want to include the Blood Shard in there, that goes way up to 1.4k without the rogue's outfit and 2.8k with the rogue's outfit so it really just depends on whether you want to put in that one in 5,000 drop or not into your calculations that said here is what i am wearing it doesn't really matter what you're wearing except the vire noble disguise you will need this in order to teleport into dark mire and then get to certain spots around dark mire to start pickpocketing the buyers and then you can wear your rogue's gloves and your rogue's mask as well as that fire outfit. The other thing you want is the rest of your rogue's outfit inside your inventory, so keep that in mind. And you can also wear your medallion so you have something to teleport out. There's many different places that you can pickpocket vires around Darkmire. Uh, it seems to be there's always a lot of people here in this building so your medallion when you teleport to darkmire teleports you right here and if you just walk a little bit to the east there's this building and there's like always people pickpocketing in here so most of the time you can just hop worlds and find somebody there's also a couple other houses around here i know that some people use this house and some people use this house it really just depends on whatever you want before we get started, I do want to go to the wiki and show you guys the drop rates for everything. All right, so here we go. There is 306.9 XP for thieving every single pickpocket, which is pretty phenomenal. And then there's not too many drops, so you have coins, death runes, blood pints, uncut rubies, which is great, which is what the gem bag is for, blood runes, which is also nice. You can also get diamonds, which don't go in the gem bag, but a solid drop nonetheless cooked mystery meat, and of course the blood shard at one and five K. That being said, we're gonna go ahead and get straight to this method. In this house, this is the entrance. This is where you teleport in Darkmire, and then this is the house you're in. This is the room I was talking about. There's normally somebody in here. And also before I forget, I do wanna bring up, there is a thing called menu entry swapper. I haven't gotten the official, it's 100% okay to use, but it's in Runelight. It's one of the original plugins. Like. I have tweeted at different mods and they give me super vague responses and other videos I know with pickpocketing and thieving tell you to use it. So use it at your own discretion. I use it and it's been fine so far, but if uh, you don't want a potential vacation, don't use it. Again, there's a few vires around. Here is one, Shadem. There's also another one. They are sometimes around here. Oh. They were hiding. They're scattered throughout this house, but basically there's normally somebody always pickpocketing here. So all you gotta do is just go ham and just have a good time and pickpocket. That's it, that's your method. So again, recommend having Shadow Veil, vale. that'll really help you out. And the other thing I wanna let you guys know is what I almost forgot to do, don't forget to put your rogue's outfit on. If you do and you get a blood shard, you're gonna be really depressed because you literally took away half of your loot. So make sure after you're done getting to the building, Go ahead and put your rogues outfit on so you don't look like me and almost do what I just did. That's not good. Anyway, guys, it is that easy. And whenever you need to bank, you can either put your Vire disguise back on and the bank is literally here up north, or you can use your medallion, go to Theater of Blood, which is the Ver Sinaza teleport on your medallion, and then just teleport back to Darkmire. There's so many ways that you guys can do that. I'm just hoping that I'm gonna snag a blood shard here because that would be absolutely hilarious, but I don't think it's gonna happen. But anyway, guys, that is all I had. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you subscribe to the channel, leave a like for the algorithm, leave comments, what other quick guides you'd like to see, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Turn up the summer vibes. Get off your phone one time, would you come outside? Cause we all here chilling. Yeah, it's the same, all same, all same. No, we don't play, no play, no games. Oh, they wanna talk, 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 talk. Why they gonna hate on, hate on me? Damn. But I am not tripping. I'm fly as a pigeon. This girl's been eyeing the